I wanted to share with you my favourite things that I think are really worth giving this year. And the major things with these are that they're quite different to things I would necessarily have given in previous years because of the COVID situation. And also, I wanted to share these things with you because I think they're really well thought out things that you might be surprised you can get for the money. So I've broken this down into items under 250, items under 150, and items under 50. And that under 50 category, for me, is probably more exciting than the others because you'd be surprised how much you can get that's decent. And I've got things here that are Deal, Prada, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. I'm gonna start with that top category, the 250 pounds, and I'm gonna go straight into loungewear and slippers. It's not Christmas if you haven't been given a pair of slippers and some pajamas. And it's probably more so this year because most of us are staying at home a lot more than we would have done in previous years. And this for me is one reason why I think this year, if you are gonna give someone loungewear, pajamas, anything like that. I think it's worth putting a bit more money into it and getting someone something that's really good quality. So the first is this pair of slippers that you're seeing here. These are sheepskin and they also have a rubber sole. And I wanted to mention that because the rubber sole is non-slip, but it also means that you can clean it. So for me personally, I find that I'm buying slippers probably every quarter and I just buy 10 pounds ones, you know, like really inexpensive because they don't tend to hold together. Probably because they were 10 pounds in the first place, but also I can't wash the soles on them and we've got kind of nearly white carpet and after a while you're walking around, you can transfer dirt onto the carpet. So I felt that looking at getting a high quality pair and also bear in mind that sheepskin, oh my God, it really, really stands the test of time. I cringe to tell you that I have a pair of Ugg boots. I know, they from like 2010 and the sheepskin in it, the shearling, is still perfect. These also come in their own dust bag. I should mention that these were actually given to me by Senrev. I always feel really cringy when I talk about things that I've been given because I always worry it's like you're only talking about it because you've got given it but I get offered quite a lot and most of the stuff I say no to because I don't like it. So when I do show you things, it's because I really do like them. The second item before I move on to some of the Dior stuff um, is this. This is also from Send Rev and it's 100% pure silk loungewear set. I really like the look of this and it also comes in like a grey colour and you can pick a mix where the shirt's got long sleeves and you can also get long trousers or you can get the um, shorts. So if you wanted a long sleeve top with shorts you can do that or vice versa. Moving on to Gucci, £230, it is this scarf. Gucci, I feel, are one of those brands where you can get quite a lot for your money. And I stand by their scarves being really good. I'm going to show you one here that I actually got given for my birthday probably back in 2008. It's an excellent condition. It's one that I wear every single year. And you can see that there is really, I don't even think there's any bobbling on it. Or if there is, it's really, really minor. The second is also a scarf. It's from Dior and it's, you know, the, the Mitza scarves, the long, kind of a twilly scarf. I think this is worth it because this is £175. It comes packaged in all of the Dior stuff. And don't forget the Dior packaging, the limited edition Christmas packaging this year looks better than ever. I feel that with this scarf, it's got three, probably, probably four different uses to it. And it's a perfect thing to get someone who's into the brand. You want to get them something that's wearable, but you don't want to go spending hundreds or thousands. This you can wear either on the handle of a bag, and I wanted to show it here on a bag that's not kind of like really high-end designer, because I want to show how I think you can transform even a, a non-major designer bag into something that looks a lot more cool and kind of Dior feeling. I know in a lot of the campaigns they tie it around the wrists of the Dior models. You could easily, even, I've seen people have their hair up in a ponytail where they've tied this in a bow on the back of it and probably countless other things. Um, one thing I was going to show you as well here is a couple of years ago I went into Dior and they said to me, I'll put on this shirt, and then they tied a mitzah around my waist to kind of pull the shirt in, and it looked really good. Don't forget also with the mitzahs, they are double-sided with a different design on each side. So the person has kind of got a choice. I just think it's a really versatile gift. I've got one more from Tiffany & Co, and then we're gonna talk about under 250. 
I was looking at Tiffany because I, I was trying to look at high-end brands for anyone you know that's a, a, a brand lover and you want to be able to, you know when you just know someone and you know what they're into and you're thinking, I really want to be able to please them on Christmas day, but I don't have like loads to spend on them. These earrings, these are 165 pounds. These are pretty much the cheapest earrings I could find on the Tiffany & Co website that weren't kind of, there were a few others that were lesser, but they were, I was thinking more about someone you might know who's into like a visible logo. And of course you're also gonna get them in the Tiffany & Co box with the dust bag. 150 pounds and under. I'm actually gonna begin with my favorite thing in this category. It's this, look at this. Anyone you know who's into makeup and beauty, but they're also into fashion and they're into Dior, look at this. It's a limited edition Christmas set of lipsticks, but the case they come in doubles as a clutch bag. So it's kind of like a double gift. Not only does the person have a selection of lipsticks to choose from in the year, but they've also got something that they could use if they are going out on Christmas, like depending on where you live and what the rules are, where you are. If you're gonna go and see family at Christmas, or if, well, probably not Christmas day because you'd have been given it on Christmas day, but um, maybe even New Year's Eve if we get let out for that, there's kind of a lot of things you can do with it. Me as a teenager, I would have loved that because it's a bit of everything. Vivian Westwood earrings cheaper than you would think, 75 pounds. And with the Vivian Westwood earrings, these also come nicely packaged in a box. I think I've got one of the boxes, which I'll show you in. In the box, they come in a dust bag as well. These are 75, although some of you might remember about three videos ago, I did a handbag video and Farfetch had given me a 10% off coupon code in that video which would work on these earrings. That's a non-paying, um, like commissionable code, by the way. It's just something they gave me. They always give me like a 10% off whenever I show any of their stuff. Second up, it's knitwear, but really good quality knitwear. And I, sh I was wearing a jumper a couple of videos ago and it was kind of cream, quite fluffy cream jumper. And I had a number of you saying, where's that jumper from? It's from And Other Stories. And their wool condition, I think it's wool and not kind of polyester, I'm pretty sure. Their wool composition and their jumpers are really well priced. This one that I wanted to show you, which I thought is quite a nice gift because it feels quite different. This, um, this is a cardigan, comes in different colours, but I really liked the buttons on it. This I feel is a really minor thing, but this I feel makes the jumper different to any other jumper. It's kind of got gold bees on it. This is £69 under 50 pounds. Number one, candles. I think candles are a really good gift. I have an analogy actually when it comes to Christmas gifts, particularly if you wanna spend 50 pounds or under or even 40 or 30 pounds and under. I think that the best gifts are the ones that have been really thought about, they're really perfect for the person, but also they're the kind of price that the person technically could afford to buy it themselves, but it would be considered, you know, a bit of a luxury item, you know, a bit frivolous. Why am I gonna go and spend 50 pounds on a candle when that's kind of, you know, my food money for, you know, the week or whatever. So that's why I think candles are quite a good idea. This one is my favorite at the moment. It's from a brand called Overdose. The, you can get two different containers. Um, I personally prefer the pink one. It's kind of like slightly matte feeling. And these candles are 45 pounds. The packaging they come in is also quite quite quirky and quite cool. The version of it that's 50 pounds, so five pounds more, it's all it is, it's the same fragrance, it's just in a different jar. But I think it's just the design. So the design is kind of more of an AB rain, rainbow kind of crystal. My favorite fragrance is this one. I think you can also get these on Farfetch and I think that 10% off will work on these as well. But if you are not able to smell them, read the descriptions on the Farfetch website because I found that it's pretty, pretty identical to how that candle actually smelled when it turned up and I love it and I decided to keep it. Second is makeup bags and look at this one. This makeup bag is 10 pounds and it comes from a store that I first came to know about 
several years ago now and I came to know about it because they've got a store at Waterloo Station in London and I was waiting around for a train that day, had time to kill, found this shop, walked around, really liked it because it's quite quirky. So this is £10, I've, o I've owned their things before. I'm actually going to show you a small travel jewellery box that I bought from them a couple of years ago. It's not the same but it will give you an idea of quality and how well it's held up and the kind of styles they have there. And the second item from there which is £18 is this jewellery box. Now an idea that I had is I quite like doing this thing where you might get someone a series of presents that are bang on them but they're not necessarily expensive. I don't think that throwing big money at a present guarantees the person's going to like it. I think very often the gifts I've been given over the years are the ones that are not expensive at all. Like I got given an embroidered brooch years ago and it cost the person $1.99 but I loved it, I've still got it now, I use it a lot. It's a great example of how you do not need to spend money to get someone something perfect. This is the gift and gift thing that I was thinking about. So you could get someone a pair of earrings and then if the earrings come in a box, you could put the earrings box in this jewelry box so that the, when they open the present and it's the jewelry box, there's like a secondary gift with inside. I just think that would be quite a nice thing to do. Decent quality jewelry under 50 pounds. Um, first, I actually own these and they came to mind and I really wanted to show you them. These are genuine pearls and genuine silver bracelets. They are 40 pounds each or 41 pounds each. There, You can pick the color of the pearls. So you can either pick the kind of grey blue tone or the pink tone and you can either choose to just have a really plain t-bar closure or you can have the heart hammered heart charm on it these come in dust bags they might have come in boxes i can't remember i've had mine for probably three years and you can see the quality is brilliant it's something that's actually quality it's not kind of like plastic or fake metal it's for not a lot of money it's real pearls and it's real silver also in keeping before I move, move on to some Dior stuff that's like 30 pounds. One other thing is a necklace and you can customize it with the person's name. I think this is also really good if pearls can look quite um, classic but in a more grown up way. And if you know someone who's maybe their style's a bit more edgy, I think this is quite a nice way of being able to wear, wear pearls in a more youthful fashion style. Another thing which is in the sale, this should be 70 pounds but it's actually 49 pounds it's from aspinall of london and it's one of their handbag tidies um which you could keep i would personally keep like lipsticks and stuff in here like chewing gums and things i think it's got a mirror on it yeah it's got a mirror on it and when i saw it i thought the fact that it's been reduced by that much that's a, that's a perfect thing to get someone because of the, the quality of their stuff and the saving that you're making. Also, their stuff also comes packaged really nicely in their boxes. Now, finally, for this Dior stuff that's like £30 and Louis Vuitton and things like that. Coffee table books, they don't have to cost as much as you would think. When I was looking at coffee table books a couple of years ago, I was like, oh my god, they're like £100, £200 and over. I don't really want to pay that for a book. So I got looking. And I wanted to show you this book, which I bought a couple of years ago from the V&A Museum, but you can find it online. And it's a deal book and it's £30. The, I think what's really nice about these books is if you're buying for anyone who's into fashion and style, but they're also, they've become more into what their home or their personal space looks like this year. These actually, they're, they, they've got like a dual thing. Not only are they quite fun and it, entertaining to read but I personally like using mine as decor and it depends on your personal taste but I like to have them stacked up with like flowers on the top I think they add something and they add um, a bit of fashion into the room the second one that I saw is from Louis Vuitton which looks like it's got one of those kind of material covers on it and then the final one which I liked as well is from Prada and it's £37.50 there's quite a lot there that you can get for under £50. More, more actually, more quality than I thought that there was going to be. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.